you've not given us you're talking about our doors This is this cool Abi the hostel love garden. I saw it as sports. It was never really like this. I remember somebody trying to deceive me to come here. But they usually sit down and do their love. And you know, places like this. This is just how it is. Two boys' hostels here and then a girls' hostel over here. This is how it is. Oh. I remember one guy when I was my hundred level, he was trying to make me to come here. You don't know me, I'm smarter than anything. He was not saying stuff like just because I stay in this hostel in front, just the hostel directly opposite. She was not saying just um just come from your hostel, just walking straight, just be coming that side, you just see me that round place. He refused to call it love garden. See? There's no light there or anything. You wanna you wanna me. <laughs> So things are sold around here. This is Hostel C. This was my ex hostel. I stayed here in the beginning part of my hundred level. Good afternoon. Hi Bessie, um, good evening, um, okay so if you see these glasses just know that I'm about to edit, like I'm about to edit or I'm editing or anything of that sort, I just had my shower now, I popped out of my hair, that's why I let my hair out like this, um, I think like an hour 30 minutes ago we just had a lodge meeting. Earlier this morning, you guys would have already seen like from the previous clips, I was fetching water from the rain. I am my roommate. And this is something that I feel like is affecting a lot of students, especially in Abia State University. Lodge is around here. I don't know, I don't just know whether it's just me. I don't want to believe that it's just this particular lodge that is really mad. But then I want to believe that this particular place where I stay, they are more mad than other places. I paid my rent February and then we went for strike. I came back to this lot September. That gave them like a period of like eight months. No, they gave them like six months, right? Gave them like six months or seven months and nobody was here because they usually like say, oh, everybody go home and stuff like that. So everybody left the place. Only for us to come back. It's not even like it's about the strike. It's been their usual way. No light, no water. They just, they just give excuses upon excuses upon excuses. Only for them to hold the meeting today every time there's a new manager and that's something that is so so annoying like they bring this person he brings these promises the last person that i know that really pissed me off hmm? the guy was talking maybe he mentioned that he was a politician i was like bro you've lost me and then he was saying things like let me top up the rent you guys will top up payment and the rent i'm going to i'm going to change the doors i'm going to change the roof and i was like ah. the basic things water and light you've not given us you're talking about our doors and our who sent you 
just like I knew what was going to happen already, he's nowhere to be found now. And they're saying that he played and he played the Lord, blah, 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 blah. That is a new person. You know, the more you keep seeing these people, the more you just realize that, you know, don't put your faith on human beings. It's just, it's just so weird and crazy. Now, this new one is here. They have not provided water and light. Since I came to this place, I've not fetched water here and I have not seen light in this room. Since I came back from the strike, around from the period of like that time I was around February, that January, February, there was nothing at all. I can count how many times they have given us light if I just sit down. It will, not, it will not be more than five times. Somebody mentioned in the meeting that since this year, they have only given us light three times and water three times. Do you get? And none of it was in the period of now that we came back from the strike. Exams are fast approaching and then we have to do these things every day. I carry my phone to school or my neighbor. That's you need. That's like that guy is really just helping my life. I am my roommate because like if we don't charge in school, we're able to charge here. Do you get something like that? But then water, we have to go up. It's just so stressful. You know when you when, when you know that you paid for something. If I if I walked into into a place and they told me no water, no light, to share you're ready, and I say yes, I'm ready. I want to stay. No water, no light. That would be eh. I was the one that walked to stay. But because of the fact that I'm paying the rent, I'm paying my. And the thing is that don't pay your rent on time like don't pay your rent on time and see how they would embarrass you i see them embarrassing a lot of people and i'm like ah ah but when it's time to provide the things that those people have paid you for for the money it now turns to a joke see now they've come for topping of rent managers have everybody has come out but when it comes to like, we don't have water we don't have like, we don't have this and we don't have everybody no manager again no manager is not around though manager went here went there went to that place but now they want to top of the rent they have come with um security they came with two people two security men army men and then the manager himself finally came and then everybody's now you know wants to want to try to top up the rent so we can provide show us now the one that we've already paid that we left people for six months we are using the money for six months normally i feel like you know this I, i've not run a lot before and stuff like that but then i feel like you know these things you have to allocate money for like every month sure you get what happens to those six to seven months that nobody was here what are you using the money for what like guys so i'm done for the day i took some pictures hopefully when i check the pictures there'll be something for my instagram um we're currently at school pavilion to watch football because of my roommate she's the one influencing me she's coming to pick me i am so tired I'm already there, Shabo. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't really understand football, but I'll just be here for the fun of it. Shay, I guess. So, yeah. bestie good morning so today is saturday time is currently like 7 30 ish and it's not really that bright in the room but you can at least like see me clearly for my last vlog i said i was going to start working out every saturday going to school to work out at all but today i can't go so i decided to do you know at home kind of workout something i just want to do something every saturday that exercises me and stuff like that so yeah
Hey guys, so I'm done. I just had a cold bath now and then I put on like my clothes and my sweater because I feel cold. I'm just going to relax for a bit because my legs feel really, really like painful. They feel like they don't belong to me. They feel generally you numb. Know. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> So the next step is to cut the already cut bread into two. Oh. Chef Norma. Oh, okay, she says she come for your Michelle classes. She can't spill the tea too much. <laughs> How much is your master it's, class? It's okay. it's not cut it. So that this place to cut off. You leave this place. You just look at this place. It's not cut. We see you. We see you. How much is your master class, man? Email me. I know if you say it online. Oh, email her. <laughs> What's your email? Huh? Mm -hmm.